uh, it was a challenging start to XCON with a very very heavy rains for the first two days. Uh, we managed to have a decent inaugural, but then we had a one and a half days of big struggle to manage to get the site back into a exhibit uh, exhibitable shape. But uh, now I think yesterday has been a great day, tremendous footfalls. Today also it appears there's a lot of footfalls. I think uh, it's a great uh, occasion for the industry to showcase its best foot forward to all the stakeholders that engages with the industry, whether it is customers, whether it is suppliers, whether it is government, whether it is general society, students, media. So, I, and I think it's also a place where we all interact with each other much more than otherwise. So, it's a great platform and I, I would say it is uh, one of the best construction equipment exhibitions that happens in whole of Asia. Uh, I think our products being the most fuel efficient, I am sure, have improved the country's carbon footprint uh, tremendously by the making sure that we consume the lowest amount of fuel for the X amount of uh, you know, uh, movement of tons across the, uh, across the different parts of the chain. So I think we are doing a significant impact. Uh, what we would like to do going forward is that we want to be more engaged in the customer's uh, business even more. You know, and what we are doing is to try and uh, become an applications oriented company. Uh, you will see in this stall that most of our products are with attachments. There are new types of attachments. How machines can be used better and more productively using newer attachments, specialized things to do the work, you know, whether it is the big excavator with a vibro ripper or the small excavator with a drum cutter and a tunnel attachment. And so all these are the areas where we are. So we'll continue to innovate. We'll continue to make customers uh, look at us in a different way. It is a very competitive market. Uh, we need to compete in the commercial terms, but I think we will always be focused on value addition uh, beyond product uh, beyond service, uh, uh, but to even get into the customer's uh, business process and how can we help them. So we have launched productivity-based services where we can take customer site, uh, a given site, work with them to understand what are those site challenges that they are facing and how can we improve their business in that condition. We are celebrating the 60 years of our success with our customers, with our stakeholder dealers, our vendors and financiers, and the most important is our own employees. So that is one part of the story. The next is now how do we take this confidence forward? So we are being perceived as an excavator company. Today, if you go and see, you will see many wheeled equipments. And we are bringing a five-ton wheel loader, a backhoe loader, which we introduced three years back, specially developed in India, international standard, very good quality, and one of the best backhoe loader on road. You will also see many mini excavators. In India, mini excavators traditionally have not been selling in large number. But today, mini excavators' growth is highest in excavators. Why? Because of COVID, many people realize that safety of their people, safety of their employees, is very, very important. So therefore, many excavators today are doing a wonderful job, whether it is in plantation, whether it is in municipal corporation, in urban development, and uh, Jal Jeevan Yojana, Yojana, which has been introduced by our Prime Minister. So all this is bringing huge amount of energy in, in our product development. So overall, we are looking at that, how do we increase our product portfolio? How do we de-risk ourselves? How do we make sure that we serve our customer better. We differentiate ourselves from a competitor is also very important. So these are some of the important areas where we are focusing. Quality of product, quality of service, and reaching near to our customer. These are some of them. We have used this platform to launch two new products. Uh, we have also used this platform to introduce two new forthcoming uh, products. and. The, whether it is the component selection, the focus on you know design, manufacturing, engineering, is all uh, aimed at you know making Tata Hitachi and India self-reliant. So this XCON, we have launched a new variant of it called the EX200. So that's one launch. Apart from excavators, where we enjoy the market leadership position, we are also into wheel equipment. Our wheel portfolio includes backhoe loaders and wheel loaders. So we have launched, uh, we have strengthened our wheel loader portfolio with the launch of a new 5 ton payload capacity wheel loader called the Tata Hitachi ZW225. Now this model is, uh, though the technology is coming from Japan, we have extensively focused on localizing the components. 
and that is what I told you a while ago, Apanir Bharata. We have actually delivered that and you can see it on the ground here. For us, XCON has been a great uh, experience over the last few days' time. We had multiple product launches. Uh, the most notable among them was the Frana Cranes launch, the Frana 17. And apart from that, we also had the launch of the hybrid uh, electrical machines for the PowerStream brand. We had our brand new VSI uh, on launch today behind me. We also launched the Cedar Rapids MVP range of crushers in India. Plus, we also had the dual power 883 dual power screens uh, launched here. So the footfalls have been great, you know, we had multiple customers who have committed to buy. We had multiple handovers of the machines in the last few days time. And the greatest interest which we saw was in our Frana safe cranes as the customers have been able to see a, a fully safe crane now completely built in India from a world renowned brand uh, like Frana. So overall it has been a great show for us. We still have two more days to go. We still believe there's going to be more action happening over the next few days time. Um, and we hope that you know we we, uh, we build on this momentum over the coming months. For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.